Hey everyone, today I've got a pretty big haul. I didn't realise how much stuff I've accumulated recently until I've just went round finding everything that I haven't included in the haul yet and it's quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll just get straight into it. I'll start with the 3 for 2 thing I did, I think, no, 3 for £10 this was on Lee Stafford. I don't know if that's still on at Boots but this was Lee Stafford was on 3 for £10 I think. Um, so I took full advantage of that because I love the hair growth treatment which is the treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length hair growth treatment which is basically a hair mask for your scalp which basically just puts like nutrients and nourishes your scalp to make it a kind of really nice breeding ground for hair which sounds really strange um, and with using this I definitely did notice growth not so much length, maybe length but mostly like new growth which was really strange to see I've used two of these in the past, I bought two again um, and I definitely have noticed a thickness in my hair even though it's really thin anyway but and like little ones that all seem to grow out at the same time and same length so it definitely made a difference, I noticed like those baby hairs when I first started using it and now they're all kind of about that long um, and there's like loads of them which is really strange, people can't notice it but I can like feel them, like loads of them that stop out here so that means that they're all going to grow longer which it's really good for the thickness of my hair, um, so yeah, I really like these for that, and I will continue to use them. It smells amazing. It's just like obviously like a mask, like that, and it's just I can't describe the smell. It's just a these suffered smell, but yeah, it's really really good, and that was a really good deal because these are normally I think I don't know how three for twelve pound I think it was or something, but I think it's normally like about six each or something along those lines. And then there's the Lee Stafford Sun Kissed Lightning Spray, which is amazing. I normally use the John Frieda one, which is in the yellow tube, which I use after I've washed my hair. I spray it all over before I blow dry my hair. And it's got a little bit of what's it called, hydrogen peroxide in, which is like kind of bleaching chemical. Um, it's got a tiny amount of that in, so when you dry your hair, the heat in it activates it. And it lightens your hair, which is really good for people like me who have naturally blonde hair, which has a tendency to look dull and a bit kind of mousy, browny, rubbishy, like when it comes through. So what I use this for, I kind of use it along the roots and a bit all over, and it just lightens my hair. Sorry about my phone there. And the John Frieda one was doing a good enough job to me. I thought that did a really good job, but I noticed a massive difference when I used this. I used this twice, and it made like a massive like, difference. I mean, my hair kind of like white in places, which um, this one's obviously quite a bit stronger to me, I think. Um, yeah, so this one, is stronger if you're looking for something stronger but if you're a bit scared of that then the John Frieda one, point now it's like on the floor down there um, that one is very good too but yeah I like this one a lot I'm gonna have to go quicker through these products because I'll be here all day I also have an Origins High Potency Nightmares Cream which I was absolutely desperate for because this is my go-to night cream I've still got the box here, that's what the box looks like um, and I'd ran out and I didn't have it for almost a month um, and I really, really missed it it's just like obviously like a cream, it smells orangey, it's really really nice and yeah it's just really nourishing, you can feel it's like done straight in the morning, your skin feels like quite plump and really really soft and yeah I just absolutely love it. A tub like this goes, lasts for absolutely ages because you need a small amount, just it spreads really easy so yeah I really really love this, I think this is, this is the third, second or third, third I think tub of this and um, yeah and I really really like it. Now I've got a makeup. I've repurchased the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I was using the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder, like kind of as a setting powder. It was not really meant for that. It's just kind of like lighting powder. It's a bit meh. My thoughts on that will come in another video. But I've just repurchased this for times when I really need my skin to be matte. Um, I like the little crown imprint. I don't know if you'll see. Um, but yeah, I've kind of worn that down already. Um, this is my go-to powder, I've had two of these in the past, one of them I used up, the other one I did lose somehow um, halfway through but yeah so I had to rebuy it again after not finding it for months so yeah I really like that and I just got the colour transparent which it really is, you can't really see any colour on your skin so yeah I like that. Then I've got a hell of a lot of lip products, um, lip products is my weakness um, so yeah I'll just get into that, I'll leave the best one till last. Um, Right, I'll start with the lip gloss. I got this lip gloss from Rimmel. Uh, Rimmel had an offer on, which is why I've got quite a few bits of Rimmel. Um, and this is the Stay Glossy one in on Non-Stop Glamour. Um, I bought this because I'd seen Tanya Burr mention it a few times, saying she really liked it. Otherwise, I probably would have just bypassed it. Yeah, it's really nice with like nude lipstick or even kind of like a 
pinky one or peachy one you could kind of nude it down a bit with this which yeah it's really really nice and I love lip glosses in this kind of colour. It's the new Delight lipstick and from the Moisture of a New Range. They've just repackaged this um, which they did days after I bought this which I'm a bit annoyed about but so I've got the old packaging which is I still think is really pretty. It's like purple um, and it's Nude Delight which I don't know if you can see but it's just my favourite nude lipstick. It's not brow too browny, it's not too concealer lips, it's just kind of nice in the middle. Um, yeah, and I nearly used up one before this, it was like right down to tiny little nub. But then I took it on a night out, it felt my bag and I lost it, so I had to buy a new one. Another Rimmel lip product is from the Kate Moss range, I think this is Kate Moss Matte range, and it's number 107. Another uh, YouTuber influence purchase because Zoe from Zoella, um, she talks about this a lot um, and I thought well it's kind of getting into winter, I was feeling in a wintery mood so I thought I'd buy it. It's like really really dark red, yeah I just think it's really really pretty for winter and I've already tried it on and I really really liked it. Last from a lip product I promise is one I actually just purchased on a whim yesterday when I tried the test, new tests that came into work and it's the Last and Finish Colour Rush. Intent, long last intense colour bob so it's basically the Rimmel attempt at these uh, crayon things um, and this colour didn't really stand out to me uh, it looked kind of peachy and a bit pale but it's called give me cuddles I think it doesn't have it written on here but I think that's what it was called no give me a cuddle that's what it's called which I think is really cute but when you put it on the lips it's a really nice kind of like baby pink but not like wash it out kind of baby pink I would try and do some swatches but it's a bit, lighting's a bit rubbish with the sun and everything, so yeah, I won't be doing swatches, but you might see it in the face of the day soon if I go back on my blog, which I hope I do. Um, but yeah, it's really, really pretty on. Um, so if you can find a tester, go and swatch it on your hand and even on your lips if it hasn't been used before, which is what I did. And it's really nice and pink. So yeah, I love that and it's a nice different option because normally I just go down the dark lip route for autumn, but it's a really pretty one. My two more kind of high-end lip products, I got Impassioned by MAC for my birthday of my best friend, Jen. Um, it's really bright, but not scary bright, like not like neon Nicki Minaj bright. It is just a nice middle of the road bright boy pink. So yeah, I really, really like this and yeah, I'll be using it a lot more. I used it on holiday and I really, really like that. How many times can I say I really, really like something? And then the last one is one I actually treat myself to. I got quite a lot of birthday money. Um, instead of like presents, so I tripped myself to uh, YSL Rouge Villeupt Shine in number 19, which is called Fuchsia in Rage. And I've always wanted a YSL one, but I've always looked at the peachy ones and that and thought they're all a bit meh. Not really anything special to push the boat out for, but this is gorgeous. I've got this lovely purple imprint all the way around the inside, and it is purple. It is purple, but it looks absolutely bright purple. But when you swatch it, it's not actually like that scary. It's like much more wearable because it's quite sheer. It's not like scary matte purple. It's like kind of just like obviously like fuchsia as it says. I'm really bad and rambly at describing things. But on the lips it's absolutely gorgeous. My mum looked at this and thought there's no way in hell I can wear that. And then I showed it and she was like oh that's actually really pretty. So yeah I absolutely adore this. I have two necklaces to show you. The first is this little one, which was an absolute bargain, which I got for one fifty, I think, in New Look in the sale. And um, it's just this little gold chain with a little turquoise cross on it. I'll have to come close and show you. But yeah, it's just this little turquoise cross on a gold chain, which I thought was really pretty, pretty. And I love turquoise, and I think it matches like kind of blonde hair, really, really nice, and like a tan. I did actually forget to take it on holiday, which is really daft of us, but. Yeah, I did want to take it on holiday, but completely forgot, and I really like that. I think it'd be nice for next summer. For one fifty, how can you complain? And I followed a little theme with this necklace, again, with gold and turquoise. And it's this, I'll try and show you it better. Um, this one from Accessorize, I can't remember how much it was exactly. £12, I'm going to guess at. Um, but I bought it for my birthday night out, which I'll show you the entire outfit, basically. Um, this is what it looks like up close, I just thought it was gorgeous. Um, but really nice with my outfit and I just think it, it hangs really nice like kind of around here. They do one same with like kind of burgundy stones instead, which I think I kind of wanted as well, but I thought it's a bit too much buying both, but yeah, I really, really like that. 
Right, starting on clothes, I'll just go through my entire birthday outfit and I'll show you the necklace. I wore this crop top, which is from Misguided. I can't, I can't remember prices for things, you'll just have to trust us and I'll try and find the links for them. Um, but it wasn't too expensive, let's just say that. Um, it looks pretty boring, just a black crop top, but this bit here, I'll try and describe it here. It kind of crosses over. So, you have this bit, and this bit kind of goes in a cross shape across your belly. Really bad describing that, but yeah, and it looks really, really pretty actually, that little bit. It just adds a little bit of detail. So I would recommend that if you kind of want to try the crop top thing with high-waisted stuff, but don't want anything too revealing. And with it, I wore this skirt, which was from Topshop, and I really love this skirt. Um, it's this weird print, which has got like butterflies on it. I don't know if you can tell where the butterflies are. There, one in the middle. I think there's some further down. Um, I'm not really, not really a fan of butterflies, but I thought the colours on this were really pretty. It's not doing justice on camera, it's like purpley, bluey. This lighting is really rubbish for filming it. And this kind of came up to here, and then the top finished here. So, yeah, I really like that. And it's just a pencil skirt. It went down just above my knee from where I wore it. Um, so, yeah, I really, really like that. And I think that was about £25, which I think is obviously a lot for a piece of material. But... Yeah, I did like it and I will definitely be wearing that quite a lot. I'll continue with the misguided order that I got that black top with. I also got this dress which I wore on holiday. Sorry, this hole's kind of all over the place. Um, and it's just this daisy print dress. I think it's only about £8. I think it was a really good bargain. And it's just kind of like one of these ones that kind of kicks out and flares out. It's not like really tight fitted. It just got all this material. But it looks really pretty on because it just kind of flows like that. And it went kind of like mid thigh. And it was like just this dark blue with daisies all over it. Which I thought was really pretty and not too like, I don't really like going on holiday and wearing like, suddenly change my whole wardrobe to being like bright pink and bright coral and this, that and the other. I kind of like it still stay me, not like a completely like crazy holiday version. Um, I th But this is still very me so yeah I do like that. And in, the, in England I could still wear like a denim jacket and Converse or something. So yeah I do love that dress. Um, these little shoes came from Miss Selfridge. I want them all summer and then it got to the kind of end of summer and I thought I have to just pick them up. Um, even though I won't be wearing them until next year properly. They've got this lovely pattern on them. They're kind of just like suede kind of blush slash nudie colour. Um, and they've got the little ball there. And they're really, really, really comfortable. Um, I just think they're so pretty and I like all the little cut out bits on them. Really nice detail. Um, yes, and they were really, really nice. I think they were about £25-ish and I just thought they were very elegant and pretty. Then a jumper I got for my birthday off my dad. My dad is quite good at getting clothes and it's from Next. I don't know how much it was obviously because it was a present but it's just this kind of beige coloured jumper. I need to move out the sun, don't I? But yeah, it's just a nice knit. Nice chunky knit for winter. It's got a zip on the back. Um, yeah, and I'll like wearing this with loads of different things when it gets a bit colder. Now I've got this giant box of rubbish from ASOS. Not rubbish, nice things. But most of it I haven't tried on, so I don't even know if I'm going to keep it or not. So it'd be really good to have, like, your advice in the comments on whether you think I should keep things. Firstly, I'm going to call it ASOS. I know people call it ASOS, people call it ASOS, which I find bizarre. But I go with ASOS, so we're just going to have to live with that for now. Um, and I find it really strange how they have started selling Primark, but... It's all good for me, um, and I just thought I'd pick this top up, which was only, it was reduced, it was £10, but then I think I got it for 3 50 possibly, um, and it's Mickey Mouse. Um, it's alright, the there's one in River Island which I prefer, and it's much softer, which is obviously always the case when you buy something from Primark, it's never as nice a quality as the more expensive versions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try it and see what I think, but yeah, I love a bit of Disney, so always a good thing. I've definitely went down the winter route with this uh, box of products that I bought. Um, this hat. I've bought a few hats because I don't really, I have got one woolly hat and it's beige and it's got full on pom pom on the top. Um, so I thought I'd buy a few more casual hats. I'm not only like a beanie person, I'm not one of those girls who would wear like beanies in spring. I thought I'd buy a few basic ones just for winter. I really don't suit them. Watch how much I don't suit it. I really do not suit them. I look kind of like a burglar, but I need something to keep my ears warm because I get really sore ears in the winter. And these were quite cheap. Again, prices and links will be in the down bar, I promise this time. Um, but yeah, I got a black one and somewhere through here is a grey one, I'll show you. 
I've got these gloves, very wintry, yes I know I am, and these are burgundy as you can see, um, but these are actually those ones that you can use with a smartphone, which I've been dying to get because last year I didn't have any that could do that, and I hate having like freezing cold fingers, but I'm always like stood waiting for my met roll for uni and things, playing with my phone, and these are like going to be lifesavers because the little tips of them feel different and they work with the smartphones. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really good to be able to use my phone with gloves on. I'm going to interrupt my little ASOS haul. That was the thing I just found in the box that I'd shoved in. And it's this bag from Accessorize, which I took on holiday. Which again, I could use it somewhere all winter hours. So I didn't want like, a really summery bag. It folds over, which I thought was going to be really safe, but I still got pickpocketed. Um, it folds over like with these like popper things and then it's got a zip in the top with a tassel on and it's got loads of little studs which I really think is pretty handy. Yeah, I will be using this a lot for myself in England where people probably won't pitch on money as much. And again, before I continue with the wintry stuff, these are from ASOS so this is kind of more relevant, but I was looking for black sandals for before I went on holiday for absolutely ages and it got to even like a few days before I went and I was still panicking and didn't have any black sandals. Black is like my colour and it got to September and I couldn't find any. These were the ones that I eventually found. I found them on a new look site, went and put them in my basket. I hate this one's happens. Put it in my basket, got the got to pay for it, and they said it was sold out. So there was obviously only one left, so else bought it just for me. Then they popped up randomly on the ASOS website, and I thought, right, I'm going to buy them now, even though they were £42 down from £60. So these are still quite expensive sandals for me. £42 was a lot of money for me. But I also got the last pair then because I went back and checked 10 minutes later and they were out of stock. So I got the very last pair. I had to move across the side of the bed because the sun was just completely moving around in my face. But as I was saying, these shoes were from Steve Madden, which to me is a very expensive designer for me. Um, £60 flip-flops are not normally my forte, but as they reduced, I thought, why not? They're just like black suede with a little tea bar, which are really, they're so comfortable as well. Um, and they've got these little studs all over them which are kind of, not rose gold, but they're just like gold. And it goes all the way around the straps as well. And both of them are like that. And obviously, not one's different than the other. But um, yeah, they're just my favourite shoes at the minute, even though it's not sandal weather, but next year I will be wearing these to death because they're so pretty and sturdy. They don't feel like they're gonna fall apart like you would if you got them from Primark, um, which I would expect from 40 pound shoes, but hey ho. and. Yeah, I'm totally glad I bought these now. Um, bargain, in my opinion, because these are going to last me for years and I really, really love them. Now, back onto the wintry stuff from ASOS. I know I'm all over the place today. Um, it's just because I'm getting back into filming and I'm not used to it as much now. Um, this jumper is also from ASOS, obviously, and it's from the Vero Moda section, which is obviously just like a line that they do of uh, clothes. And it's an ombre jumper, so it goes from like peach to burgundy. I know it's not really ombre, it's just kind of dip dyed. But yeah, I really, really like it. I haven't tried it on yet, none of the stuff I've tried it on. But I think that'll be nice and warm and cosy. It doesn't feel like itchy, it just feels soft. I got this fisherman jumper, which I don't have any of, but I really like that kind of knit. So yeah, this is from Daisy Street, which is obviously another brand that they sell there. Um, and it's just a burgundy fisherman jumper. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, it's like kind of that style of knit. They're kind of square, I would say, in my head. It's just like a square knit. I don't know nothing about knitting, so that is completely useless to everyone. But yeah, it's just a red, kind of big slouchy jumper. These are like my favourite. This isn't itchy either. Um, and I've got another one that's identical. I'm a creature of habit. Um, and I thought if I like the style of it, I'll want both colours. So then I've just got a black one, which goes with absolutely everything. Um, I love black jumpers, I think. Black and blonde hair look really good together. So yeah, um gonna like these I'm pretty sure um, unless they're a really weird shape when you put them on but they seem really really nice and these weren't too expensive either nothing really was because I'm trying to keep my budget down nothing was overly expensive apart from them Steve Madden shoes which I bought before my birthday but with my student loan I'm trying not to go too mad with it because I'm going to go to Thailand in the summer here's the other hat I was talking about um, exactly the same style beanie just a different pattern it's like a grey mall thing do I want to show you it again I do not suit hats at all, but yeah, that feels like it's going to keep my ears nice and warm. I've got a few scarves, neither of which are woolly because I own quite a lot of woolly scarves and they kind of like get my nerves, I'm a bit claustrophobic and I don't like big woolly things up to my face, but these will be really nice for like, kind of like now, not like winter, like everything else is for winter. This is kind of like a now-ish purchase for when it's kind of a bit chilly and these will just kind of keep myself a little bit more warm than if I just had just my jacket on. 
Um, I got this scarf, I think it's from the brand Pieces, which I've got a few, yeah, it is, which I've got a few scarves from before, and I really like them. And then, not overly expensive, but they're really, really nice. Those are kind of like snood, if you can see here. It's got like a tube scarf, um, so it always goes on like a snood. Um, but this, I'll show you the pattern first. It's Paisley, which I don't know if you can see through me or not. But yeah, it's this Paisley scarf, which when you fold it up, it doesn't, you can't see all the Paisleyness, but it just looks like a really pretty, purpley, pinky, florally scarf. And yeah, it's really, really nice. So when it's folded up around your neck, it looks something like that. And yeah, I think that's really nice. I can wear it with kind of any style top, plain top, and like a leather jacket. And yeah, I think kind of just makes it a bit more girly. And this one, I don't know if I'm going to keep because it's a bit meh. I thought it would be a bit more white than this. I um, don't know what brand this is from. This is a new look scarf. Um, I'd say it's strangely a new look as well. But yeah, it's just kind of like triangular print. But I thought it would be like bright white, which I think would be much nicer. Obviously, you can see against my bright white top. It's not. Um, but yeah, I'm not overly sure if I want to keep this one. It's a bit meh. A bit nothing. Um, can't decide. Someone tell us what to do. I've then got a coat, which is kind of just a pretty boring coat. I'm not normally someone that goes wild and buys like really like weird coats that look kind of stylish. I just want something that's going to keep me warm and not look too weird and yeah, and that I won't get sick of. <clears throat> and this one wasn't expensive, which is what I was looking for because I don't want to pay for June. I've already got my partner, which is hanging there. Yeah, um, I used that one for like two years, I think, and now I just kind of want to change. I'll wear that one sometimes still because it's really, really warm. Um, and I don't kind of wear really smart coats. I've got a few smart coats, but I don't wear them for through the day. And this one is from the brand Only. Um, I don't know anything about that brand, but it was, I think it was only like £35. Um, and it's just, they did it in blue as well, like, and a khaki colour. But I thought I've had a khaki one, I'll just keep the black. And yeah, kind of, this is really hot show, but it's just kind of like a normal coat material. And it sucks in at the waist, which kind of looks really feminine compared to if I didn't suck it in. Um, yeah, and it's got this nice hood with the lining. And yeah, on it's just kind of just a nice black coat, it's nothing amazing. But for £35 I thought this will do me nicely. Yeah, this one isn't too long and it's not too puffy or anything, it's just kind of standard. Another thing, I'm not sure whether I want to keep, which is the last thing in this haul, which has been the longest haul in the history of hauls, um, are these boots. And these are also a new look brand. Um, they're just little black boots, but I've also already got black boots kind of this height. Um, but I don't know, I, I kind of like them, I think they look nice with like tights and skirts and things. Um, and they were only £23 then student discount tops, so like £21 for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether I keep them or not, someone tell me what to do. Yeah, so they are the last things in my haul, these boots. Um, longest haul ever, as I've just said. Hopefully I won't be having another one before Christmas because I really need to save some money for Christmas and go to Thailand next year. But yeah, that is it. Nothing else but them shoes in my big box for Bessos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!